Hello, this is your Bridger Bowl Snow Reporter Justin with a Week in Rewind from February 9th through the 15th. The Week in Rewind is a review of the past week's conditions so that you know better what to expect in your ski and ride experience in the days and week to follow. Let's get into the Rewind. Starting out Friday the 9th, we found 3 inches of new snow before the lift started. The snow on top of the 5 inches we received the day before got us excited for a great day. With the temperatures in the high 20s and low 30s all day, the snow that fell was able to bond easily with the current base. The wind was light, and although the clouds hung over the mountain all day dumping snow, it was a beautiful day. Three more inches fell throughout the day, providing some great turns all over the mountain, specifically in the North Bowl, where everyone seemed to find some powder in their favorite lines. Eight inches of new heavy snow with about 12% water content set the tone for this bluebird powder day. Bronco had filled in well and Bridger's signature run was quickly shredded with fresh tracks. The early morning powder turns were the best. Thick and creamy turns are found in Bronco to North Bowl to the Whirlpool's area off High Traverse. Above freezing temperatures at midday made most of the non-north facing off-piece snow pretty thick and heavy. The ridge was closed most of the day due to avalanche danger, making the lift serve terrain and its lifts much more busy than normal. Sunday arrived with another inch of snowfall overnight. Fun, soft turns were found off the Goldilocks Traverse to Lower Papa Bear, down the Bronco out of sight snow fence, and in the snow job area of the North Bowl between the John and out of sight. Temperatures climbed into the mid and upper 30s on the upper mountain and into the mid 40s in the base by the afternoon while the winds were effectively non existent, making for a t shirt afternoon. Monday brought another two inches of snowfall with a colder day, high temps topping out into the teens and lower 20s. The wind hadn't returned, leaving two to three inches of snow blanketing the freshly groomed runs, creating a silky smooth ride on the trails such as Hands Hollow, Bitterroot, Thunder Road, and Deer Park Face was winch groomed for the first time this season. The snow off trail under the new snow was a little firm due to the change in temp from the warm to cold overnight, but the mountain continued to ski and ride well overall, especially on the groomed trails. Yesterday's snow, skier traffic, and now cooler temperatures combined to greatly improve the conditions off trail as the snow bonded well and skied softer than Monday. Temps stayed in the teens and lower 20s, and the winds still left us alone with a 2 miles per hour average for the day. Lots of corduroy, including Upper Emiles and the South Bowl, groomed for the first time this season, Powderhorn, Bridger Run, Upper Emiles, Thunder Road, and Lower Freedom also served up first-rate midwinter cruising at its best. A sweet powder day for Valentine's Day with 6 to 8 inches of cold smoke fluff. Gulch face to boot hill, brush run, and a quick hike up the ridge to Never Neverland yielded face shots and fun. The wind came back, but still calm, and the mercury began to rise with temps getting into the mid and upper 20s and almost 30 when the sun came out. The snow continued all day, adding another inch to our accumulation and promised to snow overnight. Everyone felt the love on Valentine's Day. The weather made good on its promise and gave us four more inches overnight and through the patchy clouds with balmy 40 degree mercury in the base area brought another powder day here at Bridger. Some great runs were off the south side of Bronco over into Ptarmigan and the North Bowl provided some healthy turns. Lower Easy Money wasn't groomed overnight and had some good fluff to bounce around in. The rest of the usual groomers, 37 to be exact, were groomed the most this season. Story of the week so far is the continued snowfall early in the week, followed by the extensive machine grooming of the many slopes, creating the best base steps and corduroy cruising conditions of the season so far. The mountain is shaping up very well in advance of the President's Day holiday weekend with a solid base and a good outlook on more snowfall. I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day and best wishes to all your Valentines from all of us here at Bridger Bowl. That's it. That's the Week in Rewind. Tune in next Thursday for a brand new Week in Rewind or check out the daily videos for today or any day you wish. Have a great week and keep those downhill edges up.